every cell in our bodies, every drip of sweat on this stage, every sequence, every light, every bit of love is for you. We love you. I have this letter here. I just got thrown up on stage from a fan. I'm gonna read it the best I can. Dear Stephanie, hmm. who's that? My name is Helm and I'm 17 years old. I flew here from Buffalo, New York. Ooh, I used to have bars in Buffalo. Shit. And I dragged my older brother along with me who lives in New York City. I just wanted to tell you how much I love you and how much you mean to me. I was bullied almost every day in elementary and middle school for my height and for the way that I look. And you were the only person in my life that has brought me to accept myself. Whenever I'm upset or feeling down, I always turn not just to your music, but to all of the empowering speeches you've done throughout your career. You're more than just an art activist, art actress, pop star, jazz singing, six-time Grammy winner, and This is only my second time seeing you in person, but whenever you go, I would gladly try my hardest to follow you, especially when you're an old rock star lady. <laughs> Whatever difficulties you may encounter in life, remember that you are much stronger than you know. Love you guys! and that many of us would be so lost without our Italian American girl from New York City. You have surely accomplished your goal of changing the world one sequin at a time. Because this world is like a disco heaven because of you. Je t'aime tellement, Gaga. Your petit Helen, I'm the blonde Asian under five feet. <laughs> I wrote like 40 of these. Can I please get a hug? Yeah, fuck yeah. Give you a hug. And I'd like you to use this as your backstage pass after the show. And I'm gonna sing this song for you right now. Gaga! Je t'aime, Gaga! All right, just look out. Because there's 88 keys on this piano, and I'm about to use every single one of them. I would like to take this opportunity to talk about something that's important to me. There are a lot of very inspirational people in the audience tonight. Christina's here! <laughs> that's right. fly like Pink does. <laughs> My buddy Mark Ronson here. <laughs> who I wrote this next song with. And also Tom Elmhurst is here who mixed this song and also mixed Shallow 18 times. What a wonderful man. <laughs> Kathy Bates who I've had the absolute Serves a residency in Las Vegas, not that the other girls do, but we're just saying. Stephen Arimus, 
who is an absolutely incredible musical director. I love you so much. Lonnie Perster, one of my directors from American Horse. Barry Diller, happy birthday. The absolutely amazing Diane von Furstenberg. Billy Lord and Brian Lord here tonight. The inspiring Chelsea Clinton. Derek Glassberg. Gail King. And Gail, if you could just do me a favor. And please, pass, pass this message on to the big O. Just promise me you'll ask her to consider at some point running for president. Yeah. Oprah Winfrey, Oval Office, Double O, I don't know, it makes sense to me. Stephen Dalton, the director, incredible. And Donnie Osmond as well. I'm so happy. Thank you so much for coming out to support our show. What I would like to say is that, you know, I've been in this industry for many years now, and I've had a lot of things that I've, I've wanted to speak about. And one of the most important things that I want to speak about, especially today, is the importance of mental health. And the importance of empowering everyone to create a kinder and braver world where if we see someone that is suffering from mental issues, we do not look away. And if you are suffering, it's sometimes hard to ask for help, but I beckon you to try to find the bravery to tell someone. My musical director tells me this all the time, Michael Bearden. He says, if you're gonna go in your head, you better take somebody up there with you. I say this because I have mental issues. I am not ashamed. important to talk about because it's fucking real and if we keep pretending it's not, people are going to keep dying. Je t'aime, Gaga! So, one life gave me a million reasons I to love you. Me. I'm so grateful. I had friends like Mark and Hillary Lindsay who wrote this song with me 